Okay, so what we're gonna do on this video, I'm just gonna do a little review on some chairs, um, big man chairs. So basically, with camping stuff, a lot of it's lightweight and it's designed for skinny people. Myself, Brani and Andy, the larger lads, um, me being the biggest. So all of our chairs are rated to 150 kilos. So they're a lot more rugged and they'll last a lot longer. So I opted for the budget chair. Uh, my chair was from Decathlon and it was, uh, I think it was £17. Andy got a chair off Amazon. His was, how much was your chair, Andy? And these was out 60 to 65 pound and then Brani got a chair again yours from Amazon yeah. Brani went for an Amazon chair as well yours is now about 90 quid isn't it okay yeah. when Brani got his it was out 70 but now it's gone up to 90 quid so what we're gonna do we're just gonna talk you through the chairs and give our honest opinion on what one we thinks the best value for money and the best chair um, so gonna start off with mine first being a budget chair so let's I'll talk you through mine now and show you the chair I'll flip the camera around okay so my chair was just from the calf one uh, so where I live in Liverpool and Heighton our local Asda's got a decathlon store in it so when I went in they had these on sale but you can get them off their website as well yeah uh, the calf good like a budget does all like budget camping gear up to high-end camping gear so it's really good so this is the chair I got it just looks like a normal uh, cheap camping chair you pick up from anywhere, markets, as there, stuff like that. But it's, it's low rated to 150 kilo. Doesn't have a bag with this one. All it has is a elasticated fastener. So you wrap it around and it fastens the chair, which I think is pretty good because I always lose the bags anyway. And the actual shoulder strap is riveted to the, to the chair, which I think is quite good comes in really handy as I say I always lose my bags I forget to tie them to the chair next minute the wind's blown them away so for easy setup it's just literally clip it off and open out knock them down and we're done nice and simple okay you sit down where you go not in, no fancy bits no fold up tables or anything like that just a nice easy simple chair and I think this was about I'd say old £17, give or take. I will leave the link for it in the description below. So that's my my chair and a little bit about it. So now we're going to go on to Andy's chair, which is more of a mid-range chair, and Andy's going to talk you through it. Right, well, I'm Andy, and this is my chair, which I got from Amazon. Was uh, on Amazon at the moment, it's £52.99, but reduced to 33 quid. So if you want it, it's on there. <laughs> It uh, comes in a bag with a strap. And again, you just open it out, push it down. It's quite comfortable, but one thing that I don't like is these bits dig into your sides on other chairs you don't get those bits <laughs> so if you spread out like that your legs end up aching what are the features has it got on it has pockets put your cup in a smaller one to put bottles in and then i think on this side got a pouch to put stuff in and a little net to hang stuff in and a little zip pocket as well for your phone or some other bits and pieces and what what ratings this this 150 kilo as well yeah yeah it's 150 kilo <laughs> so there's a couple of more features on it than mine really isn't there yeah but not much more are you happy with the chair so far or <laughs> wasn't so i just found that <laughs> okay so yeah it's split the rubber split okay, yeah so hmm but other than that, it's been a good chair. Yeah, other than that, it's better than say the, the cheap Asda ones because those ones don't support my weight <laughs> and they dig it even worse than this one does. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll leave the link for this for Andy's chair in the video as well. Um, and now we'll move on to Granny's chair, where he got it from, how much it is, and what features that chair's got. Okay, so I'll bring you back in a second. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm Brownie from Brownie Indoors. <laughs> this is my chair. Basically, it's a more heavy duty chair, like Flanders said in this video. This one is 145 kilograms rated. So there's a lot of lot of strength there. That's what I need. I've gone for a different type of chair than Andy and Panda. Where you see on the front where it's crossed over and Andy was saying that yeah, after sitting in the chair a while you hurt your legs. So this one hasn't got the crossover. Um, I'll just get out and show you. So it did come with a bag, but that's since been lost. So yeah, it's a pretty steady chair, very easy to fold out. Um, but like I say, it hasn't got the cross members on at the side so it doesn't dig into your legs. Uh, it's got nice handles, so it's lean on. Got a side pocket for all your bits and bobs. I usually keep me cutlery in there when I'm eating. Or your beer caps. Your beer, yeah, your beer caps. Get rid of them. Uh, on the other side, it's got a cup holder, a little fold up, fold down one. It's decent, but I can imagine over time this might get broken. If it gets um, put in the van and just launched around, it might break off. But it's pretty sturdy. You've had it over a year now, and there's not much. Well, there's nothing I can see that's worn on it yet. Uh, just a nice, comfortable chair. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, just, it's like a standard chair that you get. How much was that? A uh, hundred and... No, it's not a hundred. That's the weight ratio. Um, £74 on Amazon. So, not um, a bad price. Yeah, I mean, it's the mo one of the most expensive out the three, but... If you want a chair that'll last you a long time, but I'd, I'd go for this one. Cool. It's nice and comfy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the link for uh, Brownie's Instagram, Brownie Indoors, um, even though he's an outdoorsman. Uh, and I will leave the link for Brownie's chair in the description as well, so you can have a little look on that. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to put all the chairs next to each other, just have a little sit down in each one and give our honest opinions on what we think about each chair. So, first of all, budget wise, cheapest of the most expensive one. So, we're all going to have a little sit down in each other's chairs now, just say how comfortable they are and try and figure out which is probably the best value and the best comfort. Okay, man, the cheapest one, not as big, not as heavy duty, but still holds 150 kilo. Then you've got brownies, you can see that just by the build quality so far. It's a lot of a better build. The way the legs come out, they've got support in the legs. That's just my opinion from looking at them. So first things first, I'm gonna test Andy's chair. Brownie's gonna test mine, and Andy's gonna test Brownie. So we'll just move along and just discuss on what we think. So, from sitting in Andy's chair now, it's got a wider stance to mine, um, so the crossbars that Andy was on about, these don't dig in as much as they do with my chair. But again, I think for forty pound more, I could live with the cross members digging into me a little bit and save on the forty pounds. That's my honest opinion. Uh, what are you thinking about mine, Brownie? I mean, the comfort's there, it's nice and comfy, but I can imagine now over time, yeah, because I can feel that already on my legs. It's it's not a miscomfort, it's just if you're sitting in the chairs for long periods of time, just imagine it being getting uncomfortable and having to swap your legs. And, but I don't, yeah. I don't really, the reason I went with my, my chair is I don't really like the way your arm rests the material. The arm, yeah. There's not much, I mean, if you're a heavier lad and you, you want to get up and use your weight, I mean, you're running the risk of ripping. Yeah, that, that's why I'm looking more to your chair with me having my knee operation. Mm. Um, I struggle sometimes getting up after having a knee off. So I think your chair, just by looking at it, I don't know till I sit in it properly. But yeah, it's more seems more sturdy. But yeah. I get I get what you mean. If you if you're just going out for the day and you're just having a little picnic and you're parking up, I mean yeah, it does everything it needs. It's comfy. Um, it doesn't take up too much space. It's lightweight as well. And the price is there as well. So yes. What do you think about Brownie's chair? definitely the best one for me <laughs> so it's well just being a lot tougher stronger and 
you don't have that dig in bit. So for like an extra twenty pounds, say, would you rather have went for that now than this one? Yeah. Yeah. So for the yeah, extra. Yeah, it'd be worth paying the extra. So with your chair being the middle chair now and you've sat on both of them. Is it for you one end's you'd either go one extreme with the cheap one or go all the way with the most yeah, expensive one? I would one. go for the more expensive one or the cheap one, not the middle one. <laughs> so <laughs> up to now we've got the middle one is not getting not getting the votes here, people. But it, it's all your budget. Me personally, if I didn't have a budget for the most expensive one, I'd say the same. Stick with the cheaper one so far. Um, but I haven't sat in that yet properly, so I'm gonna have a little test of the comfort rating now and see how it feels okay so we'll swap round and then when andy's tested mine brownie's tested andy's we'll bring you back now okay let's have a little swap around <laughs> yeah okay so take two there'll be some outtakes for this one because the camera's <laughs> just pissed off on itself okay so we've swapped chairs now i've just had to redo the camera um, so, Granny, you go first, what do you think now after you've sat in all three? Yeah, I mean, compared to that one, which is cheaper, this one doesn't feel as sturdy as that one, yeah. bizarrely. It's like more movements in the material. Yeah. And the, the frame, that one's like a bit more solid than this. Good it's, it's a good bigger it's chair. A bigger chair. You can have a wider stand. I like saving when I get up and I'm putting my weight, I don't really want to put my full weight on these. On them. And again, it's got the, uh, it's not got the full arm rests. Yeah. But the, uh, it's good for like your uh, storage. So you got, your, you got your two. Two, one for like a big drink and one for a bottle or yeah. something like that. And then a little admin pouch on the side. But decent. But again though, if you wanted an admin pouch, you could probably pick an admin pouch up that clips on for about five or six quid and then you're still 40 quid better off yeah. so what are you saying now you've sat in all three is it the same with you it's either if you can't afford this one you're going to go the cheaper one yeah it just depends on what i'm going to use it for if it's like i said before if it's just going out for a day going for a walk hiking and you've got your, your chair with you just stop off for a picnic or whatever i'd go for the cheaper one it's just a bit lightweight. Yeah, you're not going to be sat in it for a long period of yeah. time. And, yeah. As I say, I've had my chair the same amount of time as yours. And we've put both of the chairs through the paces. And both of ours have stood up. As you've seen before in the video, Andy's had his chair the least amount of time. And it's already starting to give way the back of one of the arms. So, in my eyes, Andy's chair is a no-go. It's a dud. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment though it is on Amazon offer for 34 quid um, I can probably see why it's on offer now um, but again sitting in Brownie's chair he's writing what he was saying these are substantial armrests okay? so when you're getting up you can put your weight on the armrest and you don't feel like it's going to give him and the support between the cross members in the legs just makes it a more comfortable chair my one the way it's set up and it looks a bit of a wider stance probably looks like the more comfortable chair but when you sit on this one this is you could sit here long term because you can nice nice wide spread on your legs and there's nothing digging into it again i like the design of the little fold out cup holder just there the only thing i'd say is be mindful of it when you're putting it away always fold it away before you back it into a boot or anything like that like brownie was saying or it might snap off yeah. I can imagine that over time that that will give him yeah well and i mean about it for the year it's still going strong and it lives if you if you've seen our van uh, the van video my chair and brownie's chair live on the top of the van so it's not like they get packed away nice and neat and they're only pulled out when we go camping they live in the van constantly so we use the van to pick up parts for the trucks i use it for work when brownie's not there <laughs> going picking up tires i use it fishing camping so the van gets a bit of a beating anyway so they are standing up to the test of time really uh, and again i like the way it's got the little organizer on this chair so for me i think my i probably will upgrade to one of these eventually just because when we're doing more longer camps over a weekend or whatever this is what you want to be sitting on all weekend instead of that but as brownie said you're going out fishing going for 
just a little picnic or a little day out where out in the 4x4s and you just want something to sit on for an hour, half an hour while you're making your dinner, that's probably a good option and for the price it's never going to let you down. Mm. To me there's not much difference between actual comfort and the shore you know, when yeah. you sit in it. I mean this one's comfy to sit in, so is that one, and so is that one. Yeah. But just like you said before, just however long you're gonna be sitting yeah. in them. So if if you're more if you're more into your camping for a weekend, long weekends, a week, whatever, I'd say put the money in, get this one. You're more of a weekend warrior that does one night camping or you're going out for the day fishing or something like that. The cheaper the chair is, in my opinion, a bit of an all round that does everything. So for most value for money, again, I'd say the, the cheaper chair. The only yeah. downfall to that one is there's no admin pouch. Yeah, there's no admin pouch on that one. But you could probably buy an admin pouch from Amazon for a couple of quid um, to add it on onto it so in my eyes i'd say the cheaper chair um for everyone who's starting camping to go to what's your vote for starting yeah cheaper just go cheap because you don't know if you're gonna like it or not um i'd always start off getting the cheaper equipment because then you know not what not to buy yeah um and then obviously if you want to get more into it then you can invest in better equipment but uh, don't do what i do and just get the most expensive one <laughs> not always expensive isn't always best no it isn't as you can see Andy went for a chair that he thought was going to be yeah, in, in the middle, middle good value for money and this is the one that we've deemed just not viable <laughs> basically so what are you saying and what would you say if it was you now your money you have to spend your money what would you go and buy I'd buy that one but that's because I know I'd use it enough that I would get my money's worth of buying a more expensive one. Yeah. Possibly, if it was me again, my money, and I was buying the chair, I think I'd still buy the the, the cheaper one. But that's not saying I'm probably I'm going to buy one of these. But I think having that cheaper option, you don't mind that getting thrown about. And if it breaks after a year, eighteen months, two years, you're not going to be you're not going to be devastated with this. If I broke this and buy slamming a car door on it I'd be mortified yeah, just buy three of these can you yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in, order, in my opinion I'm going to say the cheaper one for me Brownie's opinion I'd, I'd go for the dearer one to be fair the dearer one just, just the bill of quality and that's there yeah and yeah. you know it's going to last a while it's a good one Andy I'd be the dearer one too for the dearer one too so obviously Dave got loads of money <laughs> me and me I'm poor so yeah, and I buy stupid stuff like knives. Stop saying that off monthly. All the time. <laughs> Brian, he got this out the catalogue. He pays £2 a week for this. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's paid off next year. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so, as you see, we've gone... The three of us have gone down the scale. Budget, mid-range and high-end gear. So, it's entirely up to you. We've given you an honest review. We've used these a lot. It's not like we bought these this weekend and come and sat in the bloody hot tent and said oh yeah these are the best we've used them down the meadow to be honest i took brownie's chair away with me when we went away last time so i knew how comfy it was um that's the trouble when you leave your gear with me saying that though that's not the most expensive chair you can get there's a lot more like over the hundred pound mark so so it's still it's it is out of the three the most expensive, expensive. but there's a lot more, more out there that are even better still but again more expensive doesn't mean always more better so take if you can take what we've told you today and you make your own opinion on it mine the budget chair these two tackle tarts they go the most expensive yeah, i hope this video has been helpful for you gonna try and do a few more kit reviews anyway for the simple reason is all three of us have got the same hobbies we both play airsoft we the three of us go airsoft we do bushcraft wild camping and we do a bit of four-wheel driving so we will always buy the same equipment but it might not always be the same quality so whenever we've got different quality stuff or slightly different makes we'll do some reviews on them and give your us your our honest opinion we'll give you your our honest opinion sorry um and if you like what you're seeing don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe 
you see a lot more of Brani. Brani indoors, apparently. I don't know why something's wrong with the guy. Everyone's outdoors, aren't they? There's no one indoors these I days. wish you'd stay indoors with your bloody <laughs> chairs. Um, so I'll leave Brani's link, so there'll be pictures from the weekends that we go away on Brani's Instagram as well. Andy, unfortunately, he's not allowed Instagram. Um, I don't know why. Might have to ask the police, I don't know. Uh, I'm only joking. Um, Bran Andy doesn't really use Instagram. Um, but he's always in the videos and stuff like that. So give us a like, a subscribe, and make sure you click that bell icon for notifications. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors sometime. Sit down out.